Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. It's now time to take a look at the Southeastern Lady Lions softball team as they were in action against Stephen F. Austin. Kimler Chapel has the action. Southeastern Louisiana softball team returning to North Oak Park hosting Stephen F. Austin for a Southland Conference Series. Early on, Spencer Atkinson gets it out of a jam, forcing a pop-up to Megan Moore. Carly Thomas in the circle for Stephen F. Austin. Early on, she gets Vanessa Ng to ground out. Atkinson turns the favor as Jesse Brown runs down a fly ball by Katie Weaver. Jordan Garza with the grounder over to Brittany Shapey at short. Nice throw and a nice stretch by Tori Shepard. Retires Garza. Amber Sather gets the first hit of the ball game for Southeastern. Just missed a home run as she hits it off the top of the fence in right center field for a long single. That brings up Jesse Brown. He lays down a bunt, but puts a little too much on it. And Carly Thomas wheels to second and gets the lead runner, throwing out Sather. And Thomas gets out the jam, striking out Megan Moore. Atkinson with a strikeout of her own, striking out Taylor Vick swinging. Chases a rise ball. And then Thomas, one of her 10 strikeouts in the ball game, fans Katie LaCour. Atkinson catches Taylor Vick looking. And then forces Lindsey Campbell to ground out to Megan McCollum with the easy flip over to Tori Shepard. Amber Sally gives this one a ride, but Hamilton runs it down and left. And SFA takes the lead here in the fifth. Two run single by Katie Weaver. Shelly Day slides around the tag for a 2 0 lead. Southeastern will cut the lead in half in the top bottom of the seventh as Amber Sather with her fifth home run of the season. Cut the lead to 2 to 1, but that was as, be as close as Southeastern was get as they dropped the opener 2 to 1. Lay Lions would rally, however. Later in the day, they'd win 9 to 1 in game 2 and then take the rubber game of the series on Saturday in dramatic fashion, winning 4 to 3 on a walk off, bases loaded walk. So, congratulations to the softball team as they take 2 out of 3 from Stephen F. Austin in a big Southland Conference series. It's now time to take a look at the tennis team as they had their final home match of the season against Nickel State. Here's the action. Playing in the final home match of her collegiate career, Southeastern Louisiana senior Valya Rusikova won in both singles and doubles play, but it was not enough as Nichols State edged the Lions 4-3 in Southland Conference women's tennis action at the Southeastern Tennis Complex. The Lions fell to 14-6 overall and 6-5 and in league play with the loss. The visiting Colonels ran their record of 15-7 overall, including 8-4 in Southland Conference action. In doubles play, Rusikova and sophomore Renee Villarreal cruised to an 8-1 victory on the number one court. However, the Colonels earned wins at number two and number three to take an early 1-0 lead. Southeastern won singles match on the top three courts to earn its points. At number three, Rusikova improved to 12-4 overall and 6-3 in Southland Conference play as she rallied from a set down for a 1-6-7-6-10-3 victory. In her two years with the Lions since transferring from Michigan State, Rusikova, a Moscow Russia native, has a 28-9 singles record. At number one, Villarreal ran her record to 16-3 overall and 9-2 in conference play, and she was too much for Nichols' Stephanie Barnett in a 6-2, 6-3 victory. Lions sophomore Nastia Tokareva improved to 12-7 overall and 7-4 league play, and she handled Marie Aubert 6-3, 6-4 on the number two court. Junior Adriana Castillo will graduate in December as the Ecuador native will earn her degree in management. Southeastern will now get ready for the Southland Conference Tournament, which will be held in Corpus Christi, Texas next week. Tough loss for the Lady Lions, but the bright side is Southeastern has already punched their ticket to the Southland Conference Tournament down in Corpus Christi, Texas. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap it up right here on the Southeastern Sports Report, presented by State Farm. 